Don't that look good? Let's get started, you guys. These are your ingredients. If you guys want to prepare this with me, stop the video, go get your in cabinet supplies, and let's get into this awesome pineapple cobbler dump cake. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, it's your girl Shella from Shella and Frank, and also from Promo SDK Reality TV. Oh, yeah, we in the cobbler making mood, y'all. Y'all have seen me make peach cobbler. Y'all have seen me make apple cobbler. Now y'all gonna see me make pineapple cobbler. Yay! Would y'all eat that? Okay, so it's so simple, y'all. I'm gonna make a double portion. I'm gonna make two. But right now I'm gonna make one in front of you guys. And then you guys just repeat. Recycle, repeat to get your second one. All right, so we got our two sticks. You can have butter, margarine. I use this blue bonnet and it's good. I mean, I still get the buttery taste. It's really good. I have two cans and these are 20 ounces each of just um, pineapple chunks and pineapple tidbits. If y'all saw my previous video, I showed y'all where I had bought these and I told you guys that when I bought them, I bought on one of each so that I can combine them. We have our light brown sugar. I'm gonna add a little vanilla extract. We got some ground ginger. We got some ground cloves. We got some nutmeg and we got some cinnamon. And we're gonna be using perfectly moist pineapple supreme cake by Duncan Hines. I debated, did I want to use a plain butter cake or do I just use pineapple? So I'm going to try the pineapple one. It's going to add more flavor. So what I'm going to do now with my pan, I have my aluminum pan ready. I'm going to go ahead and just coat it with butter so I can go ahead and get that out of the way. Coat it with butter and margarine, but you want to make sure that you get it all over. But you can't skip this method, okay? Cannot skip this. Cannot skip this method, y'all. So I hope y'all having a beautiful, blessed day today. And I hope you guys don't mind. I'm doing this on a on a premiere. I was gonna do it actually live live where you guys can, you know, um be on live. But I think you know what? I'm not quite sure where everybody's gonna be, so we are going to do it as a premiere. How about that? All right, let's add. I've already washed the tops of my cans off. You guys, anytime you're using can, anything, make sure you wipe the cans off. Now we're keeping the juice. We're gonna keep the juice of the pineapple. If y'all see, this one is the chunks. So the chunks are like this. The chunks are like this, y'all. So we're just gonna pour the chunks in the bottom. And for safety precaution, always put your lid back inside your can so no one gets cut. That's tip 101. All right, now we're gonna do our tidbits. And these look like even smaller. So we got our chunks and we got tidbits. All right. Now we're gonna pour these in here. Mm. Y'all love pineapple. I love pineapple on Pam. I love it just eating it by itself. All right, so we got pineapples in our dish. Let's smooth it out. Now what we're gonna add on top of our pineapple, you guys, we're going to add, I see our, our ground um, glaze seasonings, or whatever you wanna say. You know what I'm talking about. We're gonna add these. We're just gonna put about a teaspoon of each one. Mm, smell that. That one was cloves. This one's ginger. Nutmeg. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of vanilla extract. 
one, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we're gonna put our cinnamon. So, and I love cinnamon. Can't go wrong with cinnamon, y'all. You guys can use as much cinnamon as y'all want. Now we're gonna just take and just mix these around because we want to make sure that these pineapple chunks have flavor, have some flavor, flavor. All right. Now we got this in here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our light brown sugar. Y'all wonder where hubby is. He's outside in the backyard doing the yards. And I put these twist ties on here. <laughs> and I twist them a lot to make sure they don't come loose. All right, so I'm gonna put like maybe a quarter cup of, of this um, brown sugar. And I'm gonna put it on before I put the cake mix on, you guys. Uh -huh. Yes, kind of like a upside down, pineapple upside down, how you have the brown sugar on there. Let me just tie this back up before I forget. All right, so we got that. And we're just gonna set this aside. We already got the oven preheated. See that? Don't that look good? Mmm, yummy. We got the oven preheated. And I have my napkin over here. Let's get some of this off. Yes. So pretty much, um, we're going to go ahead and add our... Oh, you know what? No, we're not done with this yet. We're going to go ahead and put our cake mix on top. Because we're going to take our butter and put it on top of our cake mix, y'all. Yes. Oh, the oven set is ready. Got it set on 350, guys. Right. Now, let's sprinkle this on here. And you want to make sure you do not pack. You do not pack this cake mix. You do not want to pack it. You want to make sure it's spread evenly. You do not want to pack it. As you guys are watching us at Shella and Frank, make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see more of this goodness. And I'm just going to take it in my hand and just lightly just pan it out. A little finger and lightly just pan it out. Yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Make sure it's even that looks pretty even what do y'all think that looks pretty even right all right so we're gonna take you need a half a cup of butter and here you go now i'm gonna use a maybe a, a maybe a half a cup and a little more than that i just want to make sure the entire layer is covered and that's what we want to make so we're just going to slice up our and put this to the side. We're gonna take and slice up our butter. I'm gonna just slice this baby up. Some nice thin little slices. And as we slice them, we're just gonna lay them down on top. Some people may wanna melt theirs, but to get it evenly distributed, you wanna kinda of like really um, go ahead and just um, layer it like this and make sure it's all covered and like i say i use um one and a half stick of butter or margarine And this stuff is so awesome, delicious. No, we're gonna actually use 
two sticks. We're gonna actually use two sticks, you guys. We're gonna actually use two sticks. So if you guys are watching this, watching this as a replay, and you guys wanna make this with me, do that, make it with me. I would love for you to make this with me. I would love for you to make it with me. Yes, I would love for you to make it with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna get this cut up. Now I was gonna go ahead and have it cut up before I came on to do the video, but I'm like, no, um, I want y'all just watch me cut it. It's such relaxing experience to just sit here and just cut up this stuff. You know, I guess that's why some people love ASMRs, you know? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. So yeah. Y'all comment below and let me know how y'all day is going. What y'all got going on today? I want to know. What they say? Inquiry minds want to know. Share. Share what y'all got going on today. It's a beautiful day today. I appreciate you guys coming over and showing love. Love is what love does all day, every day. So, I need to make sure that all this is covered. So, I'll probably be using two and a half. It originally covers um, for two sticks two half cup sticks and um I notice whenever I add a little more it really brings out the flavor so I'm gonna add the rest of the stick that I use to um do the um to coat my pan. I never follow our, our exact recipe. I do my own thing. I do my own thing, y'all. I do my own thing. Yes, I do. And it comes out wonderful. And you can't go wrong with butter or margarine, really. It tastes just like butter, y'all. Some of y'all saying, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <clears throat> but it's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood, y'all. It's all good. Now, we're going to bake this in the oven for about an hour or two. It gets to your desired brownness. And um, you guys will know it. Yeah, that looks good. Uh -huh. That looks just how I want it to look. Yes, baby. Yes, baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby. Oh, yeah. I'll get the rest of this butter. Oh, I saw a little spot somewhere. I'll just put it. I'll put it there. Yeah, that's it. That's it, you guys. Let me show you about the butter. There. And we are going to put this baby in the oven for an hour. See that? There you go. Would you eat that? Would you eat that? Let's put it in the oven. And I'm going to make another one. So we'll be back. 
and here you have it. It baked for an hour and a half. I checked it after the first hour and then let it bake another 30 minutes. And we're ready to dive in. You can wait till it cool if you always want to, but I'm going to dig into this right now. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. Let's get some more of that filling. Oh, yeah. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe because I want you guys to do it too. And subscribe and let me know that you made this. Oh, yeah, baby. What's up, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Shala and Frank. Come on over and check out our channel, Promo SDK Reality TV, husband and wife, where we eat good in the neighborhood. We're a mukbang eating show, cooking and recipes, especially soul food, pranks on Frank. Oh, y'all go check it out challenges, vlogs, comedy skits, short videos, and TikTok. So come on and become our oh yeah baby today. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, promo SDK, promo SDK, or you can also go to any of our social sites and find us under promo STK. Oh yeah baby. We can't wait to see you. We can't wait to meet you, so come on over.